hello guys welcome back to my kitchen how you all doing thanks for tuning in today i'm going to show you how to prepare nigeria fried rice yes all what we need to prepare the fried rice are here firstly i have my meat i like to use meat beef because uh, my husband don't like chicken so i prefer using meat and secondly i have my sweet corn i have my leaves leaves and i have my carrot i have my green paprika some people do use the yellow one the red one but i prefer the green one and uh, i have my gizzard you can use the liver but i prefer the gizzard and i have my sweet peel yes and i have my onions and uh, this is the seasoning i'll be using this is curry and this is thyme you know guys i like uh, uh, ginger so this is grounded ginger that is and i have my seasoning cube guys sorry so let's get started firstly what i'll be doing i'm just going to put my seasoning in my in the meat then uh, we start by boiling the meat first that's what i'm going to do guys stay tuned to see how i put this uh these things one by one in the fried rice okay guys i've already placed my my meat on the gas so what i what i want to do now is just to add a little bit of water and leave it to to boil I'm going to leave this meat to cook for 20 minutes guys because I like soft meat so I'm going to leave it for 20 minutes to boil just go ahead and add water like so After adding the water, you just mix it for the seasoning to mix with the water and the meat. So you just mix it very well, like this. Okay, guys, yeah, this is after 20 minutes. So uh, my my meat is. Uh, well cooked i'm going to remove it from the gas okay guys i remove my meat and this is the water from the meat so what i will do i'm just going to pour my rice inside and this is my rice i've already parboiled it i use hot water, uh, hot water to wash it so this is the rice so I'm just going to add it to the water I used to boil the, the meat. Remember guys, I have not put uh, anything the seasoning i have not put anything seasoning because i i use the seasoning to boil the the meat earlier so i'm just using the water basically uh, all what i use to boil the meat is uh, automatically in the water that i just uh, place my rice on so before adding anything i will i will just go ahead and taste it if uh, the the maggi and the seasoning I, I use to boil the meat is okay so i will just taste it and see if everything is okay i will i will just leave it i will not add anything but if i see i have to add uh, something uh, like salt or whatever so i will just is is this time i just have to put uh, what is missing you know yeah so after mixing it very well just go ahead and taste it 
for me i think i will be needing uh, seasoning cube and a little bit of salt not too much a little bit so what I'm going to do as you can see the water is small so I'm going to add a little bit of water okay guys I've, uh, I've finished with the mixing so I'll just go ahead and Okay, this is after 10 minutes, so our rice is okay. Yeah, this is it guys. This is after 10 minutes, so what I will do, I'm going to remove the rice from the gas right now to start the, the very, very important process. So I'll place my fry pan on the fire like so. We just try to zoom it there so that you can see what I'm doing. So I place my fry pan on the fire like so. So what I will do is to add my vegetable oil. So I'm adding my vegetable oil, not too much, a little bit. So after that, I'll just go ahead and add my gizzard. This gizzard, guys, I've already uh, microwaved it for 10 minutes to be easier for me to cut. So I'll just add it and fry everything together. go ahead and add my carrot also with this carrot i've already microwaved it also for 10 minutes for it not to stay longer to to fry so it's very easier to fry after microwaving it for for a few minutes I'll just go ahead and put my sweet peas. All these guys have already microwaved it as I said earlier before. So, so that I will not spend long time of uh, frying it. So it's very easier when you microwave it first. Yeah, and after I'm going to add my green beans and uh, so I add in my sweet corn so then guys you can add your seasoning the way you like it if you have to add your your seasoning cube anything any taste you feel you want to make you can add it right now. yes guys so for me I'll be adding I'll be adding seasoning cube I 
I'll be adding a little bit of salt. And I'll be adding my curry as well. So I'll just, I'm just going to keep on frying until everything is well fried together. So guys, after finishing frying all my vegetables, so I just remove some of them and leave a little bit of it. So I'll just go ahead and add rice to fry all together. Like so guys, you just fry. So I'm going to fry all the rice and the vegetables together like, like this until I, I finish all frying. Until I finish frying all the rice. Yes guys, just keep on frying. Look at that guys, so delicious. So I'm going to fry all the rice like this. So I'll just wait. Yes, guys, this is after I finish frying all the rice. It looks like this. Yeah, this is Nigeria fried rice. Yes, guys, I like to cook uh, quantity because I like to put some of my food in the freezer. So as you can see, it's very many so um, yeah i'll put some in the freezer so thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not yet subscribed and press the notification bell to be notified anytime i upload a video please you can share my videos to your friends to your loved ones until I come your way next time guys